you know, if you've ever been out there and you've made some YouTube videos, you probably had some things happen to you like me, like some really bad thumbnails that show up on your videos. And those can really hurt your views. And I've done a really poor job of this, to be honest, for a long time. And I ran across this the other day. I think it was like $19. It's called Tube Slicer. And I'm going to show you how easy and simple it is to make really cool thumbnails on your uh on your videos that will help you get more views as you start to look more professional with your videos and your thumbnail tells exactly what you're doing and it pops off the screen if you're comparing it to this one like this is just an example of a bad one you can see that my my eyes are closed I've got gifts in the background looks terrible what's important is what's said in the video but on the front end you know it's kinda like uh, how you dress. You, you need to make these things look nice if possible. And I watch Gideon Shalwick. He's a he's a great guy to learn from on video as well as Tom Breeze, but he showed me this software and I just want to walk you through what how we're going to make a cool YouTube thumbnail. I'm going to be making one for this this cell phone battery life, but this video I'm just going to show you what I would do uh, to make a cool thumbnail. So, I went out to Google and I search for thumbnails okay and I like this image here and so what I'll do is I'll go in and save that and I'm gonna go out to the app slicer dashboard okay and I go to YouTube slicer but they you can do other things there's all kinds of templates YouTube slicer templates uh, podcast artwork all kinds of cool things that you can do uh, timeline slicers for Facebook just really neat stuff and it, it all came with this package I think it was 19 bucks it was really really cheap but I guarantee you if you're doing any kind of sales online you're gonna really like uh, what these things could do so anyway this is the start of the dashboard okay and this is a cool this is the guy that does the videos but but really cool looking and so let's go ahead and, and start with this we will go in and edit that text, okay? Okay, and I'll do that. Okay, but first I want to put a background. I forgot to do that, but what you do is you download some of these background images and you know, I'll do this one right here, okay? And I can layer that, just drag that down, okay? And we want to focus on YouTube, so that word and so let's just change that text to cool YouTube and we want to make that bigger all right we'll just take this drag that out and grab this corner and we can turn that scoot that over Grab this because I want to put my. See, I can change that text even. Let's see if I want to. So it's going to change the whole thing. Let's see if we can get that to do anything in red. That doesn't doesn't really pop. So let's just stay with let's just stay with the white for now. Okay, and I can change that text. There's different fonts that you can change it to. Let's just go back to the impact. Okay. Now, um, the last thing I got to put in one more thing of text. Okay. And now we want to put our image in there. That one image that we went out and saved. I've got a visual in there too which is pretty neat so when I'm done that's pretty cool that's that's pretty cool right there I mean I can go change this you know I think I'm just gonna leave it red because that will really pop off the page okay I, I want that to pop better so I'm not really happy with that color so I'm gonna go 
delete that. Okay, and I want to go pick out another image that may work a little bit better. Okay, now we can put a little bit of color in this, I think. Okay. That's pretty cool. So, when I'm done, all I have to do is hit download okay and that's my thumbnail which is just way cool so what I'll do is you know I can I can go out back out to YouTube and I'll hit uh, this is one I'm gonna be making one for a battery and um, you know it was a video about how to save your battery what I would do I found one I liked this was the one I liked, and I would just take that image and while I'm here I just want to show you this other cool software it's really nice it's um, it's clipping magic and you can go clip out backgrounds of pictures really easy and just for example let me just take this picture of me and my wife what's important here is if you're making a video and it's you in the screenshot this is what I think would be cool to put a picture of you on this video doing something funny um, you know it will it will show you on the outside of the video but this thing is really really cool now let me show you what it does you basically just click on this green button here the foreground brush and you highlight what you want to keep okay and you just have to get close you don't have to do this perfect okay and this is me and my beautiful bride okay and then I will go to the red button and I'll start marking off what I don't want to keep and you can see it will start removing what I don't want already so very simple but then I can go clean this up okay and I want to keep I'll make this a little bit smaller and just start drawing around my head to fine tune it. Okay. She's already good. She's got a hat on, so she's good to go. Uh, but I can. What I like to do is make my. As you can get the red button, and just do this really small. I like to go over here on this one. It just starts taking everything out. I, I can fix that, but again, like right in here even. You can take out little images there. But you get the point. You just download that. That's your picture. It cuts out your background. And you can put that on your thumbnail too. But but that's that's the YouTube slicer and it is way cool software. You can go down just below this video and click on the link to order the YouTube slicer and I love it. It's I'm gonna change out I may not change them all out, but I do a lot of videos and they would look and get a lot more views if I had good looking thumbnails like that last one. So I hope you enjoyed that video. You can visit me at deanatridge.com for more information like that. And just for those of you that are out there making videos, I thought this would be helpful. And uh, leave some comments down below if you've got any suggestions for me. Uh, if you had some struggles like me with some custom thumbnails. So again, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.